What's up, mentorship freaks? It's the Daily Dose of the Mentorship Motivator. On a Monday morning, we are talking about decisiveness. Decisiveness. They have sayings, you're only as good as your last decision. I also think that it should be you're only as good as your next decision, really. Just, just as equal as you're only as good as your last decision, you're only as good as your next decision. So you need to be thinking ahead. As a leader, as the, the business owner, the entrepreneur, you need to be thinking ahead. And that all starts with decisiveness, making decisions. The first, as we know, don't let your emotions control your actions or your decisions. Don't let a bad mood cloud your decisions. We already know all that stuff. Staying in the green. Cool your ass off before you make those decisions. Don't let the mood determine determine what you're doing. And you also know get as much, you want to get as much information as possible, but you already know you don't need 100% of the information. This is all stuff. This is all just refresher stuff for you. You know all this stuff. We're making sure that you that you have this down. But when it comes to information, what information are you getting? You need to gather intelligence. That's what I like to call it. Intel gathering. Not gossip or bullshit or even just one piece of data or one number. You need to look at the entire picture from the outside. The entire battlefield and do your research, do your due diligence to make those decisions. Now make do that quickly, as quickly as possible to get the minimum amount of information you need to make the decision. And then ask questions, ask follow-up questions. Ask questions until you get the answers that you need to make the decision that you, that you need to make. And then of course, consider all the possibilities without overanalyzing. Think, think of it from, you wanna think of it from every angle, but you need to be able to do this shit quickly, quickly. Weigh the, weigh the risk versus the reward. Weigh the profit versus the loss. And we're talking about instantly you need to do this stuff. Gather that intelligence quickly. Ask the follow-up questions you need to quickly and make the decision be decisive quickly. Because you, you need to think, why do I need to make this decision? What will happen if I don't make this decision? Who's going to be affected by this decision? And how is this dis- the outcome of this going to affect them? So you need to think about this stuff. Who's it going to affect what are what are the what are going to be the the what's going to be the cause or the implications of every course of action that you take? You need to make be willing as a leader, as the freaking entrepreneur, as the ass kicker you are, be willing to make the hard decisions and own the consequences of it. Be willing to accept the worst possible scenario of the decision you make. What is the worst possible scenario that can happen? Be ready for it, be prepared for it, and be willing to accept it. Now, you might be putting pushing off decisions because you're you're avoiding them, evading them, putting shit off because it's a hard decision. You need to accept the hard decision. You need to embrace the hard decisions. Almost attack those first. Get those things out of the way. Otherwise they weigh on you. They weigh on you. And but of course, be prepared for the worst possible outcome. And so how do you make those get that gut? We say go with your gut. What does that even mean, right? It's, it's built in, like an automation, built in probably from your your past, your history, your experience, right? Things, your memory, your past experience, your successes, your failures, but more your successes than your failures. Your failures you learn from and you automatically go towards what's going to be successful or what you need to do or, or previous successes you had. So you don't even really think about the failures, the failures teach you success by following the success automatically. So don't think about the failure. We're thinking positive. Automatically away from the failures. Like like they, the missiles, the homing missiles, right? You know those things are recalculating, recalibrating nonstop when they're chasing heat-seeking missile, when they're chasing their target? Because they get off track, then they get retracked and they get back. And they get off track again, they're retracking again. Nonstop, like up to the second, redoing the calculations. And what you can't do is let your personal your personal beliefs or your pre-existing beliefs or your biases or your prejudices or whatever cloud your freaking judgment and cloud your decision-making. You need to think about from the overall picture who you're going to affect, who's going to be the decision you're going to affect, what's the outcome, what's the worst possible outcome, and then, of course, prepare your backup plans and your contingency plans on what what you're going to do immediately if this plan doesn't work. What's the backup plan? What are you going to do and spring right into action so there's no delay, there's no pausing, that after a, a, a failure or a wrong decision, that follow-up decision needs to be just as quick or quicker than the original decision itself. And you could use, again, your previous experience, your thoughts, your you, the, the previous trends that you've noticed in your field. And also think, of, again, reach out to the people that you need to reach out to. 
so that you're prepared and you don't freak out when shit, when shit doesn't work out the way you need to. Be prepared. The word, the cool word nowadays is pivot. So be prepared to pivot, not to freak out. And of course, and, and course correct that missile so it stays on locked on freaking targets. You can unfuck any bad decisions quickly. The fault decision needs to be quick. So prepare for, of course, you ex, we know expect the best, but prepare for the worst. Prepare for your decision to maybe not work and be ready to make up that follow up decision just as quick or even quicker than the initial one. Probably even quicker because now you know what doesn't work. All right, check. That one didn't work. Next mistake, check. That didn't work. Process of elimination makes it easier. So that each each follow-up, consecutive follow-up decision should be even quicker and quicker and quicker until it just becomes like a reflex, like a muscle, and you're just making gut instinct automatic decisions at the snap of a finger. So sometimes just go with your freaking gut. Sometimes go with your gut. Sometimes right on the spot. In the moment, you need to make decisions. You can't sit there and go and ask a bunch of questions or get a bunch of interviews or whatever. You need to go off of what is it? What is your gut telling you? Your gut is trained. It's like a computer program attached to your to your to your brain, to your experiences, to your past failures and successes. Sometimes just go with your gut. Of course, the easy way to go with your gut is to yes, use those experiences and put those up against is this the right thing to do? Simple as that. Is this moral? Is it ethical? Is it the right thing to do? Is it in line with your core values? Because your values guide the way automatically. That makes so many decisions so easy just like that if they're guided by your core values, if they fit into your core values. You ask yourself, is, does this fit our core values? What does my gut tell me? What do my past experiences tell me? Bam, decision. Sometimes within seconds it's possible and sometimes automatic without even having to think about all that. You just know those core values are in your fucking bones, in your DNA. All the answers are in your core values. That's, that's just where it is. And then when it comes to decisions, don't forget forget who said it. Maybe George Patton. Someone said, you are always on parade. As a leader, especially, you are always on parade. Meaning, someone is always freaking watching you. Your decisions always watch how you handle decisions, how you make decisions, how you rebound from wrong decisions, how you even recover and apologize for a wrong or a bad decision or a mistake. You are always being watched. Your decisions are always being watched and broken down. Use all these strategies, tactics, and focus to be decisive. Be the decisive leader. Make the decision. Screw it up. Who cares? Learn, and now you, you know where to go. You know the right direction.